Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a world magnetic model update. Many people have been asking, what's happening with the pole shift, the magnetic excursion? What's going on? Well, I got an email one hour ago from the National Centers for Environmental Information and the world, and those are the people that control the world magnetic model. And they gave me a link to the current update. So you're going to get access to the state of the geomagnetic field, the annual update on the pole positions and what's happening with our magnetosphere. So the summary is uh, not the actual world magnetic model. The next world magnetic model update will be in 2024. And these are annual updates to see how well the last world magnetic model update was. In fact, the performance of the world magnetic model 2020 was, was pretty good. In the last several years, there, the error is less than 1.5%, and that's good news. And what else can we glean from this update? Here in just the last year or so is the rate of change of the magnetic field intensity on Earth, and you can see some fluctuation happening there, the South Atlantic anomaly, anomaly and across Asia. And also, this is the observed rate of change of that field intensity on three locations on Earth, including Ascension Islands, where you can see since 2015, a rapid drop off in field intensity in the magnetic field, dropping to almost to zero this year. So very rapid drop off in Ascension Islands. Here we are in Honolulu, where the field intensity has been pretty level for the past decade. And then here at HYB, which is I, I did about in India, we have a dropping off of, in, of field intensity from 100 nanotesla to 60 nanotesla at this location. So one location, the field intensity has dropped to zero. Another location has dropped precipitously, probably by 35, 40%, 50% even. And a, a third location, it's stayed the same. So that's what this model is telling us. They only give us three locations, but... What we can also get is the magnetic pole positions. The actual 2020 position is blue. The 2022 estimated is red. And the 2025 is green. So you can see the pole is still rapidly going to be moving, according to the model, across the northern hemisphere here, towards Siberia. And it's showing by 2025 uh, quite a big movement. It's also telling us that the model here, if I could shrink it down, oh my goodness, uh, the speed at which they're moving. So the northern pole is moving at 44 kilometers per year currently compared to 9 kilometers per year for the southern magnetic pole. So there are your speeds, 44 kilometers per year up here and increasing and just about 9 or 10 kilometers per year down here in the south pole. The south pole is now off the Antarctic continent and headed uh, towards Indonesia here, and they're not showing much movement from now till 2025, almost negligible. So, but you're going to get this whole report. It's only a few pages. They also talk about the South Atlantic anomaly and show you that the field intensity, according to their models, will be increasing there. Oh, decreasing by a slight amount here from 22,232 to 22,179. Negligible change is predicted at the South Atlantic Anomaly. And there's the references. So that's the entire update. And let's just go over what's happening with the poles and why we believe that we're in the next magnetic excursion. Right around the Carrington event here, the poles were wandering around as they normally do up here in the, the normal rotational area of the planet. And something happened around the Carrington event which caused the poles to s rapidly start moving. These data points are annular so every year you get a dot 27 28 29 30 2007 2008 2009 2010 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 20 20 21 you get it so what we can see here is from 1904 to 1950 pretty similar movement and then it speeds up from 1950 to 1990 it moves a little quicker and then in around 1990 boom takes off and that's the North Pole. We'll leave links to that graphic. And here's the South Pole. Same progression, slowly moving, and then sometime right around the Carrington event, it 
speeds up. Sped up from 1950 to 1960 quite precipitously here and then has slowed down the South Pole since then. But it's still moving and has changed direction around 1990. So that is the data points uh, that we have to work with. And uh, I'll also leave you links to the historical magnetic declination of Earth where you can go back to 1590 to 2025. You just pick your date. You can also observe the pole locations here. And you can do your own homework using an interactive map here that will link you below. The historic magnetic declination map will be linked below. Now also, I'm going to link you to this magnetic poles page here which shows you both poles side by side and the movement thereof from 1900 to current and 1900 to, to the estimated position in 2025. So these are all, and then you can see here the actual latitude and longitude of the pole positions moving through time. So you can do your own research. Now, why is all this important, you ask? Well, what we know from high resolution uh, scientific analysis, stratigraphy, and paleontology is that the role of geomagnetic field intensity has on the planet is in the evolution of humans, mammals, and other creatures. So we know that during these field intensity excursions, when the field is wandering around, the magnetosphere can reduce uh, by up to 80% in some cases back during the extinction of Neanderthals 42,000 years ago, the field strength dropped to just 5%. And what we know from the scientific literature uh, during these events, and I can just show you the graphic. This is really going to make it stick home. Not that one. This one. <clears throat> so what this graphic shows is species being created and ending during these fields. Th th this is the magnetic field intensity dropping to almost zero here during this magnetic excursion in uh, 42,000 years ago. And you can see the extinction in Neanderthals happens during the major drop down right here. Boom. And then Cro-Magnon wins out. And now we're still here making podcasts. But during that time, here's some megafauna that just are instantly created. A species is created during the drop down here, lives during the magnetic field fluctuation, and then dies out as it raises back up. Lots of species being created instantaneously and being extinct in instantaneously here along the field intensity line. So geomagnetic field intensity drives mass extinction as well as speciation, which means we're going into a very unique and historic time on the earth when, well, lots of things change. The first thing that will change if the field intensity drops is that the modern world that we live in will go away. There will be no more uh, internet and grids it will be survival of the fittest. Now, just to show you what is the field, the magnetosphere and the field intensity is capable of, here is a reconstruction of the, the last several magnetic excursions, including Younger Dryas to the Lachan. Take a look. Time is down at the bottom left. So let me rewind this because I want to get rid of this red line. Okay, and you can see how rapidly that's the flood of Noah, and then here comes the Younger Dryas event here. And then it kind of gets back to normal. Right there, back to normal. And then we have another major event right here. Boom! Watch it. Another mass extinction. So you can see how rapidly, it's almost like instantly flipping around. We're at 37,000 years. And so that is uh, how quickly things can change. But we, we will link you to the World Magnetic Model Update. You can uh, check out the data sets for yourself. This is updated for the military and for shipping and navigation. So this information is not um, going to be faked in any way because navigators would know it's incorrect. So that's one way we can rely on the data. Hope you got something out of the video. The World Magnetic Model December update, well, has been delivered by Magnetic Reversal News. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Become a Patreon and support our work. Be safe. We love you. Happy holidays.